Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, just got a quick gold unboxing for you. Um, I bought uh, something with the recent um, five times eBay bucks deal. Um, it is not this, but this is another purchase I made recently. Uh, Tenth ounce gold eagle. Um, it's my third one. This one MCM had that sale. They were like 135. I had two uh, $50 eBay gift cards that I had gotten for 45 each. Um, so that was $10 off and then another whatever 1% for Ebates. And I could have gotten another 1% if I'd used Ebates to buy the gift cards, which I didn't, which was stupid. But uh, it wound up being like 123 or something like that. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, and this tiny little thing actually puts me over the 15 ounce uh, mark for gold, so that's kind of exciting. Um, but here's what I got with the eBay bucks deal, and I may have to put the phone down. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. It might be a little anticlimactic. Um, so like I've said in previous videos, what I've been trying to do lately with the bonus eBay bucks is to not take them into account when I'm buying something like this. Um, because it's really tempting to mentally subtract the eBay bucks from the cost. Um, and then when you go to use them, you kind of think of those eBay bucks as free money. So you're, it's easy to think of it as saving you money twice, um, basically. So yeah, I'm gonna have to set the phone down, I apologize. Um, so what I try to do is uh, not take it into account um, when I'm buying something, um, and then it can truly uh, feel like a bonus when you redeem them. Um, so this is what I bought. It's a 1895 MS63 um, $5 Liberty Half Eagle. Um, so the way I, I try to uh, determine whether I'm getting a good deal or not, um, and the dealer put their, I don't know why this isn't focusing, the dealer put their sticker over the PCGS sticker, which is a little annoying, but hopefully that comes off. Um, the way I try to determine whether I'm getting a good deal um, with these eBay bucks things is I look at the profit. So, you know, I usually wind up buying from Atmex. Um, but I guess regardless of who I buy from, Provident is usually um, a little bit cheaper than Atmex. So I look at the Provident cash price and then compare that to whatever I'm buying. Um, and if it's lower than the Provident cash price, I figure that's a pretty decent deal. And then the eBay bucks are just gravy. So this was from a private seller, or at least, uh, you know, a smaller seller. Um, so it wound up being with the Ebates 1% back, it was about $15. Um, actually I saved a few more dollars because I had some more, I had two of those $25 eBay gift cards that I paid 23 each for. So anyway, after all that, it was about $15 cheaper than the Provident cash price for a random year um, MS63. $5 Liberty Half Eagle. So that seems like a pretty good deal. And then I pocket, you know, $50, $60 in eBay bucks. Um, almost $60. Um, and, uh, you know, 1895 is not a rare year by any means, but it's also not the most common year, which, you know, when you buy from Atmex and Provident and those, they just send you a random year, which winds up, in my experience, it's always the most common year there is. So, um, at least with this, I knew what I was getting. I saw pictures of the actual item I was getting. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, this is my second piece of pre-33 gold. Um, both MS-63. Um, I'm not a big fan of graded coins, but for these older gold coins, it seems like it kind of makes sense to me. Um, so, anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later. Take it easy.